What's going on YouTube fam? Today I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at the Palomino Jordan 1s. Before I get into the kicks, go over the review and all that good stuff. If you're new to my channel, this is your first time seeing one of my videos stumbling across my channel. Welcome, welcome to my channel. Thanks for dropping by. But look, while I have you here, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell for me. That way, when I upload new material, post new content, you get notified, you can head to the channel, check out what I uploaded for you guys. If you're on social media, like um, Instagram, Twitter, uh, you enjoy pictures of sneakers, outfits of sneakers, um, just anything really related to kicks, honestly, give me a follow, you can find me. I am at I am TMCII. And uh, lastly, after you watch the video, if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Really goes a long way. Let me know that you guys enjoy the content and it just motivate me to keep wanting to record videos for you guys. So now that that intro is out of the way for my first timers, we can dive right into the review. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over like the different materials, uh, quality control, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna lace them up, toss them on feet, all that good stuff. So just stick around and I got you guys pretty much covered. For everything regarding the kicks okay so like i mentioned these are the palomino jordan ones uh it's a nice simple brown and black colorway basically nice fall color uh looking at the materials on the shoes the toe box you have like a nice like a soft it's not like a um it's a decent grain of, of suede on here you can kind of see strokes almost when i rub my thumb on it uh it's a decent, decent little green and suede on here. The black leather around the toe. Uh, it's not super soft, but it's not super stiff either. So it's just, it's okay. Decent materials, I guess. Um, coming to the side, the side has like that kind of like that synthetic stiff feel on the side though. Uh, it's not like a really super soft feel on the, at least on the black part on the side, but that's that part. You swoosh, you got that same kind of um, suede material on the swoosh. You got the Wings logo kind of sticking out. It's not like the uh, like the little vinyl sticker we get sometimes. It's, it's kind of, um, you know, textured and, and sticking out on the shoe, if you guys can see that. Um, same thing coming across the back. Got that same nice brown kind of suede material coming across the back. Uh, I'll show you guys the outsole. Pretty much the same outsole. You've seen one John one outsole. You've seen them all. So you got the outsole, but it's just in that nice brown colorway. I think that these are dope. Uh, I don't know if there's a lot of hype or um, anything behind these, but I like John ones, and I think this is a cool colorway to be, you know, to rock, especially in the fall, winter months. Uh, coming across the toe again, you got uh, only one set of laces. We didn't get an extra set of laces. Um, not sure why. We've been, we've been getting an extra set of laces with uh, a lot of our ones, but for these, you didn't get an extra set of laces. Not sure why. I guess they don't know don't know what other color you could have got with them. Maybe I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know why we didn't get an extra set of laces with these. Uh, looking at the production dates in here, look like they ended production around March of 23. Um, and that's pretty much it for it is like your materials on the shoe goes. Quality control, uh, no real gripes, just like little minor stitching issues right here on my pair. Uh, I didn't see a lot of scuffs or glue, mark, glue marks or stains. Overall, the QC was, was pretty decent. Um, you know, sometimes with Nike and Jordan brand, that can be hit or miss, but Overall, the, the quality control, at least on my pair, was, was okay. I uh, didn't see anything like major that stood out to me that I needed to like really point out and complain about. It's really, really minimal, like just the little stuff that I saw on my pair. So that's the kicks. Uh, show you guys the box really quick too. Um, so you do get a special box. Normally we would get that black box with the red writing, but you got the black, you kind of have like a gold writing on it. I'll show you guys the label. So here is your uh, color breakdown with your product code. You have the little 
little scan right here. You can open up your camera. A link will pop up and it'll take you to the regular Nike app uh, when you scan your camera on there. Not sure why or what that's gonna do, but I'm sure at some point it'll do something. Regular tissue, um, nothing special, like I mentioned. Uh, no extra laces, just the tissue that was inside the actual shoes, took it out for the guy. Uh, got your little QC stamp. That's pretty much it for as the box go. Show sure you guys the kicks one more time. Uh, before I take them off of here and toss them on the feet, do me a comment, do me a favor, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you cop in these. Uh, what do you think about this colorway? Uh, like I say, I'm a huge fan, but I know it seems like a lot of people are starting to be a little exhausted with Jordan 1s. Um, I don't know, it's, it's been the sneaker, the sneaker game right now is in a weird space. So leave me a comment, let me know what you think about these, if you're gonna be copping, if you're passing, or if you're just exhausted with all the kicks that's been dropping out and ready for something different. Um, let's take them off here now. I'm gonna lace them up. I'm gonna toss them off feet. Y'all hang tight. All right, guys. Here's a quick on feet look at the Palomino Jordan ones. Just wanna show you what they look like really quick on feet. Um, usually, the most asked question is how do they fit? How do they how do they run? Uh, so to me, I have a medium, somewhat narrow foot, and these fit just like any other Jordan ones have been fitting to me and I normally go down a half size to get like a snug exact fit. That's just how I like to wear my kicks. Um, if you are in the same boat with me with that kind of small, medium, narrow foot and you want a snug fit, I think you could go down a half size and you could be cool in these. If you don't like that type of fit and you prefer like a little bit of room in the shoe, just go true to size and I think you'll be good to go. Now, if you have wide feet and you want a snug and exact fit, I think you could go true to size and you should be good. Uh, that's, you know, it's, a, it's really all size preference and how you like your shoes to fit. But if you do have wide feet and you want a little bit of room, you might want to consider going up a half size. I don't know many people who size up in Jordan 1s, but you know, if you want a little bit of room in your shoes, then you may want to consider going up a half size. As far as comfort goes, the Jordan 1 is a technology from the 1980s and, and it hasn't changed much. It's a really flat shoe. You can feel a lot of the ground when you walk. Uh, it's not uncomfortable, but compared to like today's technology, it's, you know, it just feel like you're just walking on the, on the ground, basically. No real cushioning, no real technology in the inside. Um, you can casually wear it all day and not be in any pain. Um, but you know, if you're looking for up-to-date bounce and cushioning, uh, and something like really comfortable, you won't you won't get that in a Jordan one. But like I mentioned, you could wear them all day and you could be A-OK -okay, uh, comfort-wise. But um, here you go. I won't ramble anymore. Just wanted to show y'all what they look like really quick on feet. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, subscribe if you are new. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next video. I have more videos to upload and show you. But I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. See y'all later. Peace.